data management and document management, we have the entire numbers that we have to coordinate. See, we uh, have, a, uh, as I already told you, we normally focus on all the seminars or whatever being the classes. We somehow have an internal big because this, what you study on the subject part is about your technical skills. How you go, you're going to express yourself. But there is something which is called the internal being, which actually produces the entire results. It's not about a particular, uh, you know, everybody who is a gold medalist never becomes the topper in life or doesn't become a bigger entrepreneur or whatever it is. So there is something between, you have to be very studious, you have to know the technical knowledge, everything, but there's something called the being of the session. This next 10 minutes, we would have, I want to start up with a very small story. It's, it's not a story about, because you can say that a story can change a life, a speech can change a life, and we all have gone through certain moments in life that after that moment, your life has never been the same. Whatever could have been your last, you know, 20 years or 23 years, probably this session can make an impact which can actually create when you leave from this room, I'm not going to be the same person again. And to share with a very, very, you know, it's a very close to my heart story. It seems there was a group of colony of water bugs. Do you know water bugs? Water bugs are uh, these uh, bugs which is there below the water. And there was a group of colony of water bugs which were very happy because as a water bug you don't have any work. Mm -hmm. You can eat, you can sleep and uh, only food, friends, everything is there. You don't have to move, move your body because it's down, no predators also and it's living a life of a happy water bugs. And somewhere, this group of water bugs noticed something very, very unique. Every now and then, they found one water bug used to cling because it was all there with the lily pads. There was a lot of lily stalks. And there was one water bug which will clung upon the stalk of the lily uh, pad, that lily stalk. It will keep climbing. So they'll see what it climbing on the lily stalk. And suddenly, that particular water bug will disappear. And they always found there's something very unique. How will somebody leave this group of water bugs, you know, happy life? And they didn't come back at all. They're there in the group, the family is there, and suddenly this one water bug alone clinging to that lily stalk, where did it go? From the water, where will it go? And what is the life of a water bug above water? So they didn't understand at all. And one water bug suggested this. See, this is not fair. We are all being a group of friends and everybody is together. If there is a life which is beyond what we are living today, then it's true, no, you should be good enough to come back and tell us, we will also come. We will also take that lily stock and come. And everybody promised the next water bug, whoever is going up in the lily stock, they should come back and tell us what is the life above the lily stock. And so that we can also come. It is so providential that the very same water bug who proposed this idea, he found one day clinging himself to the lily stalk and climbing up. He 